This season focuses on the side characters a bit too much for my liking. If you want to get character development for the side characters, just make more episodes. Make this season a bit longer. But no, they focus on side characters way too much to the point where we barely get any of the alien. Um, they set up this one thing that I honestly forgot about was a plot line. Because this show does like this mid-season finale where they stop for a few months to get you invested after Asta kills someone. Which is a big thing she's against killing people like any normal human being is. And then it comes back. They really don't do shit with that plot line. The alien wipes her memory. And then she gets mad when she finds out. They have a little bit of feud and then... They make up and it's never talked about again. Her trauma does no longer exist. And then when Darcy's like, oh, this is why you've been acting all weird. I'd be like, isn't it because she killed someone in self-defense and then hit his body? No. No, it's got to be something else. They really don't do anything with that. We just kind of move past it. And we don't even see Darcy go in the dumb tournament thing. Um, She's been setting up to go to this like tournament. It's been stressing her out so much. She even breaks up with her boyfriend. And it was either episode 14 or 15. Like two episodes before the finale. Well, he breaks up with her. And then she never goes to the tournament. I just now realized that. They they were setting that up for quite a bit of the season. And then they didn't do shit with it. They also try and do more with the mayor and his wife. And, um... They have a son. There's, like, so many scenes. When they're out in public. Or just wandering around the town. Hanging out with friends and she's he was probably home alone. The movie doesn't even the uh, the show doesn't even address that at all. She's like, yeah, it's perfectly normal for that child to be home alone. They don't even say anything. If he has a babysitter, if he's home alone, what? They just want to give these characters development so they don't care. And um they set up a plot line with um, her being pregnant. That was a part of the mid-season finale thing. Then they're like, oh, it's a miscarriage or something. I don't remember what it exactly was. It turns out that the Greys abducted the baby while it was in her stomach. And um, they kind of hint at that at like the episode before the final they start having the mayor sleepwalk and stuff. And then at the very end of the last episode, they're like, oh yeah, they kidnapped the baby. And that's why the mayor's been sleepwalking, because they've been kidnapping him too. But they only do it in like the episode before that. Then some there's some guys that are after Harry, but they're more after the real Harry and they get killed and... We're just kind of done with that plot line, too. The season still had a lot of funny moments. It's just really rushed. There's more episodes, yet somehow there's even less to talk about. The last season only had 10 episodes, this one has 16. So, six more. Which wouldn't be, you know, a huge difference, but this is a show that has 40 minute episodes, so six more of those. But they still didn't really do that much. Aliens agree that they're gonna, like, take over the world or something, and they have an escape pod for Harry to get back to his planet. Because even though they've talked about how ruthless the aliens can be, how ruthless they are to their children, and that's just a normal thing for them. Like how some get eaten, some get tortured, and it's just like, oh yeah, it's okay. Their stuff will grow back or whatever. Because there's a scene where he threatens to rip off his eyebrows or whatever. It's like, it's okay, they grow back. But for some reason, they just want to bring back 
the Harry for whatever reason. Who's been there for like a year or something now. I guess he's just that important to them that they need to bring him back with an escape pod. I really don't understand why. But they do. But yeah, he ends up just sending the baby that was also in this show. I didn't think that was relevant to talk about. There's an alien baby in here. He sends it back to his home planet. And then that's that. It's in a few episodes here and there. This season was a bit messy, but I do look forward to season three if we get one. 